the hell did I miss? Today we're out at the range. We're going to be testing out two different types of ammunition. First, we got standard arms core, 357 Magnum, 158 grain, full metal jacket. These are pre standard, trucking at about, uh, I'd say 1200, 1300 feet per second. Okay? And here, we've got some really interesting ammo. This is Liberty Self, well, Civil Defense 357 Magnum. These rounds are 50 grain, coming at 2100. I'm not kidding, 2100 feet per second. These are very light rounds. And as you can see, they're all nickel plated. And they got what I, at first you would think is a hollow point, but that is a yeah, deep cavity hollow point. That means the whole entire bullet is hollowed. Here, let me get a look at like the inside of the hollow point. If my camera will focus. See if you could get close up on that. There we go. Neat. And this is an extremely light round. And uh, it's clocking out of that gun at 2100 feet per second. You're talking rifle velocity out of a handgun. And then what that would tell me is that this round has a lot of kinetic energy on impact. And that's what we're here to find out today. How the hell did I miss? Oh wait, no, we hit. Only grazed it though. Grazed it through the side. It wasn't really a good hit. I'm gonna have to redo that. Alright, we're gonna try on that bellow once more since we only grazed it. So we're gonna try to get a center mass hit on that melon and try to see if it'll explode with the regular 158 grain uh, FMJ. Let's do it. And as you can see, that round just wants to go straight through. It went straight through where we grazed it originally and it just left a, not that big of an exit hole. That's FMJ for you. There's like a but it's leaking watermelon over my hands here. But, it's a size uh, comparison for you. Pack of cigarettes. Blew it right in half. That was the hollow point? That was the Liberty 50 grain round. Now let's see what they'll do to them two liters downrange there. First off, 158 grain, 357. Hold on. Metal jack. What? Let's see what the 50 grain Liberty Civil Defense does. Woo! That doesn't tell any lie. You have that. This was the uh, hollow point? That was the Liberty 50 grain. Um, cavity point. It blew that jug completely apart. And see that? One clean hole. Actually, did it catch the bullet? I don't think it did. I thought it caught the bullet. But that goes to show right there. What weight of the bullet isn't everything. Velocity can do this. I'm actually pretty impressed by that stuff. That's impressive. All right, moving on. Short barreled shotgun. This is actually a fairly new thing that Mossberg came out with this year. This is a Mossberg Shockwave. Here, just give us a comparison with your with your height, how how short it is. 
I have to hunch over to even grab the, the end of the muzzle of this gun. This gun overall length is 26 and a half inches. It's legal with the ATF, no paperwork. This is not a short barreled shotgun. This is you considered as an, any other weapon or pistol grip only. You can buy these for about 400 bucks, brand new, out of the box at any gun shop. But enough of that. Let's finish off these watermelons down there. So let's get to it. Uh, he's trying to hunt. Got him. We still have some watermelons and some two liters left, and we can't have that. Well, I got a little thing here, a Colt. That's target AR-15. I think that will do the trick. Disclaimer: I don't. Claim to be a Round professional chamber. camera woman, folks. Safety off. Ready to fire. Woo! Ooh, look at that. Oh, that melon's trying to run away. Don't worry, we'll get it. Well, that was pretty hot. Well, yep. Where did that pesky melon go? Oh, we still got him, though. He didn't get away without being wounded. Might finish him off with a 45. What? No, I think that's what we're going to do. 45 hollow point. 45, watermelon. Do you have any last words, watermelon? You know what you did? What? Bye, Melon. I got a little bit of Melon on me. But... Yeah, I did too. Alright. Well, dang. This will teach all the other watermelons to behave. <laughs>